five years ago, Photon, the largest commercial vehicle manufacturer in the world, embarked on one of its most ambitious projects to date, the development of the next generation of multi-purpose pickup. Codenamed P201, the vehicle needed to compete with the best in the world, push the envelope in terms of fuel efficiency and emissions, and be able to conquer not only the most testing terrain, but the expectations of 4x4 drivers in markets all over the world. To ensure P201 did just that, Photon's 2,600 R&D personnel, including the best Chinese experts, were joined by some 50 engineers from Europe, Japan and the USA. Alongside these experts, Photon secured the input and know-how of more than 30 international component suppliers, including Cummins, Bosch, Continental, Dana, Geotrack and Borgwarner. Perhaps the most important contributor was Cummins, it was from this legendary engine company that the P201 got its heart, the ISF 2.8 turbo diesel engine. Built in one of the largest and most sophisticated factories in China, and indeed the world, the ISF may be Cummins' smallest engine, but it's one of their most technologically advanced. Producing high torque and power for its size and weight, the ISF is the lightest and strongest engine in its displacement class. Meeting Euro 4 emission standards, the ISF has a combined fuel consumption of only 8.3 litres per 100 kilometres. With this superb engine under its bonnet and the very best components and engineering defining its form, not to mention one of the most spacious interiors in its class of vehicles, the P201 was ready to take on the world and a name upon which to build its legend, Tunland. The final phase of the R&D process saw 120 Tunland prototypes subjected to 16 performance indexes, 150,000 kilometers of endurance exercises and more than a million kilometers in various high temperature, high altitude and extremely cold environments. The vehicle was also subjected to stringent crash tests including an offset collision test at 56 km per hour. It was from these tests that the Tunland has been assigned a 4-star safety rating in the Chinese test procedure, which is similar to Euro NCAP. For Photon SA, the only thing that remained to be done was to prove the vehicle in Africa's toughest environment. With this in mind, Photon SA took four pre-production Tunlands, fresh off the boat from China, up the notorious Baboons Pass in the Lesotho Highlands. Besides the absolute minimum necessary protection, belly plates and a front lifting kit, the vehicles used were completely standard, even down to the tires. The vehicles took a pounding over the course of the expedition, but just kept going, proving to everyone there that the Tunland is one hell of a bucky, a serious contender and a certain game changer for Chinese manufactured vehicles. Now, finally, the Tunland is ready for the dealer's showroom and the South African consumer. We're confident it's going to make quite an impact.